Hey everyone, uh, my name is Oakley Foy. I'm the owner of Racket War, tournament director uh, for our Tucson event. Very excited about seeing all of you. Usually we do a pre-game little uh, speech or, or powwow before your first match of the weekend, but with COVID and special social distancing as much as we can, we're not going to do that. Uh, we, we're going to make this video instead, kind of send everything out, so hopefully it will uh, suffice for us during these tough times. Uh, but if you have any questions after this or anything, feel free to give us a call. You can email, text, or, or a call, of course. Um, I've got two other great workers coming with me to Tucson. Sherry Nash is going to be coming with me from, Na uh, from Jacksonville, Florida. And uh, Drew Sockenbacher, also from Memphis, uh, will be – he's already actually already left. He's uh, in El Paso, Texas right now with a Rack of War trailer and is on his way. He'll be picking me and Sherry up at the airport to Tuesday morning. Uh, about 11.30, so uh, he's he'll be there hopefully a lot sooner than we will, but uh, uh, we, we're three, two other great workers. We'll be with you all weekend, and uh, and uh, you've got a great crew with you. Um, well, let me go and get this out real quick before I forget. We are still missing one women's court. I posted the draws and everything. We had 12 teams. Well, since then, I've acquired three more women's teams. We need one more to get to 16. It will be uh, great if we do. It will even things out. Uh, so I need one more women's team, any level. Uh, doesn't matter. If you know somebody that wants to get in, call me, text me, or whatever. Let's get them in today so I can go and finish up the draws. The times really won't change very much. I will probably have to adjust the draws a little bit on the women's side, but it shouldn't affect too much. It might affect who you're playing in the first match, but overall it's not going to affect very much. But anybody that has a women's team that wants to play any level, let me know it's as soon as you can. Overall, it's going to be a smaller event, uh, and I've told people this before. We just got through two weeks ago doing 320 people in Amelia Island, and I'm running around my head cut off all the time. But here, uh, it's going to be 72 people, smaller event, which is really an advantage for y'all. You still get the number of matches that you would get whether you had 320 or not. Plus, we get to be a lot more social with you, and things are a lot more relaxed. It's not uh, running gun all the time uh, for the crew and everybody. So. Uh, overall, it, it works really well for y'all to having a smaller event like this. Uh, what should you bring? It's a big question, especially during these times. Uh, they might have water on the court. They might not. We're not really sure. So what we've been doing the last couple of events is we've been telling everybody, bring your own cups, bring your own water bottles, bring your own ice, um, br bring a chair if you want to sit in it, bring hand sanitizer, bring wipes. Um, we, we tell everybody to bring all those things because we're not sure what's going to be available or certainly uh, we'll have a, a big Gatorade jug out but and we'll have some hand sanitizer next to it, but not everybody's going to want to touch that same thing and we don't want, want, want everybody to be doing that. So bring your own stuff uh, as you were prepared uh, for probably anyway, but it's just safer to do that. Bring your own water bottles and things like that and, and bring your own uh, cups of ice and things like that. Just to be safe until we get past this uh, COVID stuff, then uh, it's probably just the best way to go for now. Uh, mask. Masks are apparently mandatory at the facility. Uh, not during matches. You can take them off. Sadly, Oakley might have to be wearing them all the time. We'll see. But um, they are mandatory for all spectators and people not playing on the courts. So make sure and bring your mask. Now, at the resort, I did call them. They're only required... Uh, inside the facility, uh, in the lobby and stuff like that. Once you're outside by the pool or f fire pit or anything like that, masks are not required outside. But at the tennis resort, masks are required at this time if you're not pl actually playing tennis. Uh, clinics filled up Thursday night. We've got two sessions. we got a 6.30 and a 7.30 session, uh, four courts, uh, six people on a court, so about 24 people in each session, and that will be filled. So just show up on time. We won't be able to slide you. If you miss your 6.30, we're full in 7.30. So uh, make sure you get there on time and uh, get to the clinic. It should be fun. we got four of their pros going to be out there working with you. It should be a lot of fun. We'll have the music going. It'll be a blast. First match, uh, I think most of, of, half the group's playing at 10. The other half's playing at 11 on uh, Friday. Um just go directly to your court. You'll go directly to your court all weekend. You will see your court number uh, next uh, on the sheet. You'll also get a text Thursday going reminding you what court number you have. Go directly to your court. Your very first match, somebody will kind of meet you there, give you your, your gift bags, take your picture, 
Uh, after your matches, you'll come and report your scores, but the other people should already be sitting at their court waiting to go. So as you're walking off, they're walking on, you come tell us your score, and the whole rotation will continue like that for the whole weekend. So all you do is go directly to your court every time. We're, once again, we're trying to social distance as much as possible and not have gatherings of people. So if everybody goes directly to the courts, that'll cut down on the gathering for sure. Uh, and that will go on all weekend after you play your matches. You report your score. You should get a text that tells you when your next match is and what and what court you're on. Um, if that doesn't work, it's no big deal. We'll have the draw boards up that has that information. And, of course, everything's always online that shows you what time your next match is and what court number. Tomorrow, Friday, when I say tomorrow, it seems like tomorrow, Fridays are both matches are eight game pro set, no ads. That means you're playing two eight. You're not playing a total of eight. If you come turn in the score 6-2, that's wrong. You're playing 2-8. At 7-8, you play one more game to see if somebody can get to 9-7. At at, at but if it gets to 8-all, then you play a 7-point Komen tiebreaker. It's no add on Friday. So you're really playing to 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, if you want to do regular scoring, that's fine. But at deuce or 3-all, you play one point to see who can get to the final point of that game. The winner of that point gets the game. And in women's, it's a receiving team picks the side. And mixed, it's gender to gender. Uh, it's how the serving kind of works. So if the man's serving in mixed, then the man, he'll be serving to the man. Uh, Saturday and Sunday are regular scoring with a third set 10-point tiebreaker. Um, so just Friday is eight-game pro set, no ad. Saturday and Sunday, regular scoring with a third set 10-point tiebreaker. Um, everybody's going to be getting three extra matches. So you're going to get two on set Friday, two on Saturday, and one on Sunday. So you're going to get plenty of tennis all weekend for sure. Lunch. We will provide lunch on Saturday. Uh, we'll have it out at the courts. Uh, it'll be sandwiches, things like that. Uh, we try to make it as wrappable as possible. They're all wrapped individually. The bags of chips will be wrapped. The cookies will be wrapped individually. Everything will kind of be done individually so you can grab it and move on and go with it. Um, usually we have big trays out and stuff like that. We just can't do that right now. But we will have lunch for you on Saturday. On Friday, you're kind of on your own. But we'll be moving so fast on Friday, uh, it'll be over before you know it. Uh, usually on Friday, for those who played with us before you know, we usually have a pro-am and a match point event after. We just can't do that right now. Um, we do, it's just too many people to be gathered around all at the same time. So we're not going to have those. We're not even allowed to have beer or anything at the courts. And we usually give that out at the courts. We're not even allowed to do it because it's a public facility. So um, so th that won't be available. But I will tell you, we're all staying at the resort. A lot of us are, and I know a lot of you are. Uh, we're every night between 9 and 10 or whatever, we're going to be out at the fire pit by the pool. The whole crew, the whole racket or crew, and we'll have some wine. We'll have some alcohol. We'll have whatever. Bring your cup. We'll fill you up, and we'll have a good time by the fire pit. Almost, we'll be out there every night, Thursday night, Friday night, and Saturday night, because we want to social with you as much as possible. We'll be able to all spread out, sit around the fire pit, and have a good time, and we'll, we'll supply the alcohol if you all just come with your good, good attitudes and glasses, and we'll have a good time. That's really it. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing everybody. Safe travels in for the, everybody who's traveling. Um, if you've got accommodations through the, the, the Omni there at the Tucson, just check in at the desk. They've got you all set up. We're looking forward to meeting all of you and seeing you all soon and having a great weekend. Thanks.